So on the subject of core wounds, um, or things that just happened to me um, growing up, I, so I'm adopted. I was adopted in Central America, in Honduras, when I was uh, just a baby. And obviously these things that I don't think, I never like processed or dealt with. I mean, growing up I did, there was obviously, I, I did feel weird about like, I don't know, being adopted and like, I grew up in a white family and like, um, like they are my family, my mom and stepdad, like they're my, you know, they're my mom and dad and I love them to death and wouldn't change that for the world. But I, you know, it doesn't mean that I didn't deal with like, I don't know, just feeling weird and even looking at it now as like a 31 year old guy, I feel weird about being adopted because it's, it makes me feel like just like right then there and there as a baby, like I just wasn't good enough, um, I wasn't wanted, and so there are like, you know, I know it's not like, here, take this kid, but yeah, it's like, it's, I don't know, it's like, it's, for me, it's, it's just sad to be like, you know, they were just like, bye, because I, I do, I have younger siblings that did grow up with my birth family, and it's it just, it's just a sad thought, I don't know why. Like, I'm grateful that I grew up where I grew up with my family and for all the opportunities I've had. But, it, you know, it doesn't change the fact that I just, like, I feel, you know, I feel like the sadness about it. And I think, it, like, for me, like, especially doing 12-step work and then, like, working therapy, like, it, I, I boil it down to, like, I've always just struggled with, like, not feeling good enough. Whether it's um, in relationships, um, as, a, as a child, or as a son, even like before this thing, like I've watched the other videos and been like, man, these people are like so insightful and helpful and like just like, I bet they have cool lives and they're just great people. And then I'm like, I don't be, like I'm just a, like, a, just like a punk rock junkie. And I, I just like don't feel good enough like that or like, like that I'll be helpful. Like, and I think that's like, and I, and I know it's a lie in my head. And so, you know, like intellectually, I do know that I'm wanted, like I have a, wife and a family you know but like it's, it's I still just struggle and I think it does like stem from this like core thing of being um, you know given up for adoption and again I don't know the circumstances like maybe at the time my birth mom couldn't just deal with having you know another kid uh, two kids I was born with an identical twin so yeah like I, I don't know the circumstances of why exactly I was given up for adoption and all that but it, it does I think like, I wouldn't say like imprinted, and I've talked to other people who like have more insight into like the science behind trauma and adoption. Um, but yeah, at the time, you know, and, and there's like, in, in the newborn stage when they're like bonding with an adult presence, specifically like a motherly figure, like I was just being moved around like foster care. I didn't have that. So like I know that on some like, biological level as a kid like I just didn't receive that and I know that it, that affects me today and I know that that's why it affects my thinking right I believe that's why it affects my thinking today like that like going into everything I, I still struggle like with like man I'm just not good enough for this or like I'm not gonna be wanted here um I struggle with it at home um again and at work I just and I, I know it's not true um and I also know that like, even if it is true, like that I am good enough to be in whatever situation or doing whatever I'm doing at the time, right? But I, I do think that like me being honest and aware of that is like very important because if, if I'm not honest and aware of those feelings, then like I'm not gonna get any work done around it, right? Also acknowledge like I'm not the only one who struggles with it. Like I, I'd like to like box myself into like, I'm the only adopted person who's ever felt like this. I'm the only adopted drug addict who's ever felt like this. Um, and I know that's not true either. I know that um, people deal with similar things, maybe in a different situation, um, and have found ways to like become stronger from, from all that. Intellectually, I know that I am good enough and that I am wanted, and it's it's just like putting that into my daily life moving forward. I think is super important, so that I can um, yeah, I don't know. I, I guess just like be free of like that like hanging over me because like my addiction is you know hanging over me, but I I still do struggle with like. Just that thought in the back of my head. Um, and so yeah, I'm just grateful to be, I guess like sober so I can like actually look at that and, and deal with that because I think that in and of itself is like one of the core things that, um, you know, caused me to like use. So um, it's just good to be looking at it for sure.